Hi, this video is to discuss how not to write an article like this, which is a short piece about an upcoming community meeting. Um, first of all, you don't start it by saying something really boring like the obvious. There'll be a follow-up meeting on Wednesday. There needs to be a lead that is interesting and grabs people and tells what's going on. And this is actually incorrect. Uh, well, it's not incorrect. They are hosting it. But this is so boring that there's no one in the world that's going to read this. And it's completely ridiculous to say a post on said at the meeting, this is so boring. And it's starting off with information that is uh, trite, kind of irrelevant, a post on the cities. Why not say, say the meeting will be held uh, da, 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 comma, a post on the city official Facebook said. Why put this in the beginning where no one's going to read it? No one's going to read the sentence because it's, it starts off with something really boring. Um, the juicy part's down here. People were shot at west of the park. Why don't you put this up in the lead? Why don't you say something like, following a shooting just steps away from where people were watching a youth soccer match. The community will come together on Wednesday to discuss what happened and how it can be prevented. Why do you put the exciting stuff at the end where no one's going to read it? Um, so let me show you what I did. So Villa Park meeting this Wednesday to tackle gun violence. Eh, it's okay. My headline, Council Member Gordo underscoring concerns about rash of shootings calls Wednesday community meeting. And a picture of him. Now you got a news story going here. Okay. The first sentence here, the Hill Park Community Center will be hosting a follow-up meeting Wednesday, May 4th, regarding gun violence at the park. And it says 2016. I've said a million times, I don't want that in there. We all know what year it is. My, my lead is different. District 5 Council Member Victor Gordo has scheduled a community meeting in the Villa Park Community Center Wednesday night as a follow-up meeting to earlier discussions about the large number of shootings which have plagued certain Northwest Pasadena neighborhoods in recent months. In particular, one instance of gunfire which erupted next to the park while a children's soccer game was being played. That's really complete. Then I go into the next thing. On April 2nd, people were watching this thing, this soccer game, and they were startled to hear shots fired. Here's what happened when police arrived. The situation highlights the danger that ordinary citizens have faced in some neighborhoods lately. Then we go into a quote from Gordo. This flag of shootings is an urgent and important public matter. This I all just pulled out of an earlier article that Pasadena Now had written. I didn't have to go actually interview him again. It was all sitting there. Okay, and then I finish up with the obvious. City announcement said that in addition to Gordo, at least someone from the PPD will be there. The meeting will start at this place at this address. So now suddenly you have a news story. A council member's calling a meeting. Why? Because of the shooting. And here's what happened during the shooting. And here's what the council member says. This actually becomes a news story instead of a stupid little posting about an event preview which is boring and no one is going to get a charge out of it and no one will even read it these are important techniques i'm trying to teach here you how to transform this crap into a compelling news story about a rash of shootings shooting near a park and quotations from a council member even if we went and re regurgitated them because I said here, Gordo said on April 21th, what I've done is the difference between a crap, crap editorial that no one will read and something that's compelling and is actual, an actual news story. So they're not small changes. They're not small differences. And the way I did it was the way I wrote it, which is I focused on the man behind it and the reasons behind it. Okay, I didn't focus on the event. I focused on who and why. 
that's what that's what's emotional that's and i could have made it even sexier i could have i could have i could have made a, a headline like um near miss shooting during youngsters soccer game which almost claims lives of children results in emotional community meeting i mean i could have souped it up i didn't but i'm just saying you can take a boring meeting and make it exciting if you ask who and why and what which is what i did instead of just there will be a meeting on tuesday at this date and this time boring there's real drama here parents were watching their children at a game in a safe city park when a bunch of yahoo started shooting at each other and it's not just once it's been going on a long time this is what we have to find in our stories the emotion the excitement the danger the fear the victory the triumph that's what you want the emotional stuff and uh I, I, I mean if we if we take little boring stories and turn them into articles like this we're gonna have a million readers if we put out little events previews like this one was no one no one no one is gonna read us and we will never matter